Back in late December, Wise Timepieces from Thailand sent me two different watches to check out. And I've already covered the very unusual gold-filled dial 8015 dress watch. But today, we're checking this out. It's the new limited edition Bronze 88. And that bronze is key to what's interesting here. You see, I've already covered the regular 88. It's been out for a while, and it's probably one of the best divers out there for under a grand. One of the cool things with it is its 904L steel case. Something very few brands use, micro and name brands, with Rolex being the most well-known. That's basically what Oyster Steel is. But as you can see, this is not 904L steel. This is bronze. Now, this still has the same great quality, same movement, same level of killer loom. But what I found interesting here was just some subtle design differences due to that bronze case. That and Wise has said that this will be the last bronze version of the 88 to ever be made. So it makes sense that they'd want to do something just a little bit different. But before we get to that, let's talk specs. Then get ready for an information dump. Just like the regular version, this one is a sleek 41mm with a lug to lug just shy of 48. So we're talking typical mid sized diver. However, total thickness is a slimmer 11.8 which includes an exhibition case back and a beautiful, fairly tall box cut sapphire crystal, meaning the rest of the watch has an even slimmer profile leading up to that crystal. So while 11.8 doesn't necessarily seem that thin, it wears thinner on the wrist, which is in part thanks to the use of a no-date Miyota 9039, which is also a little bit interesting, because from what I've seen, this is one of only two dateless 88 versions, and the other one being a newer fully lewd version, all the rest have a date down at the 6. Otherwise, you're getting your standard screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance, and a ceramic bezel insert. Basically, the works here. And since this is a mid sized diver with a sleeker case design, it's going to wear true to that 41 millimeters. So, on my 7.25 inch wrist, it's a great fit. There's no overhang, and depending on which strap you use, it wears nice and close to the wrist. And what I mean by that is that the watch comes with two different straps. The default one that comes on the watch is this green leather, which is nice, but does take some time to break in. And then there's this green FKM rubber strap. Strangely enough, I had the exact same experience with the regular 88 as I did with this version, where I tried and tried to really like that leather strap, but I just never warmed up to it. So I tried the rubber one, and after that, never went back. Now, part of that is because I think they look better on the rubber strap than they do the leather, but mostly it's just a great rubber strap and makes the watch more comfortable. Oh, and before we get any further, I should mention that this watch was provided by Wise and that they're not asking for it back, hence the promotional tag at the beginning. Anyway, let's talk about the case here. And bronze watches have always been kind of an odd thing with me. For whatever reason, I've never liked gold cases, even two-tone gold cases but somehow I seem to like most of the bronze watches I've run across. And I think a lot of that has to do to the patina, just because it can tone it down over time. And just a side note here, some of the shots like this one were taken right after I got the watch, and right after I opened it from its airtight sealed plastic, while others were done after about a month. So you will notice some subtle differences with the patina across the review, and I did this on purpose just to give you an idea of how it changes. And it's something I think you will notice, especially since this one was so bright and so polished when I first got it. And remarkably so, I don't think I've ever seen another bronze watch with this level of finish. And most notable was the polished chamfers running down each side. Those were like a mirror finish, which is a little different because most of the bronze watches I've seen before just go for a straight Thule aesthetic. And again, that's also one of the interesting changes with this bronze version over the 904. You see, the 904L cases are completely polished. Like every angle, every surface, it's to a ridiculous degree. Whereas this one has the exact same case design, but it's a little more traditional with brushed sides, brushed top, and a brushed bottom, with those polished chamfers acting as a border between which is honestly what I prefer on a watch rather than just a complete polish, because I think the transition between helps define the case shape. Or as a comment in the last review put it more elegantly, 
I feel that just like you need winter to appreciate summer, you need a little bit of brushing to appreciate the polished aspects of the case. Well put, and I completely agree with that. But here, I think that minor change is done specifically for the bronze case. Just because with bronze, the patina will develop over time. That is part of its charm. That after a while, they'll take on a little bit of a unique look. And when it does, it's a little bit harder to differentiate between polished and brushed surfaces. So I think it makes sense here, and it also tones things down a bit, which is kind of funny to say about a bronze watch. Otherwise, the case is the same. Screw down crown is a decent size, and while the bezel is a bit stiff, it is a terrific clicky action once you get a good grip on it. Moving on to the dial, here the overall design is the same. It's just in rose gold. You have the same applied indices with bars at the cardinal points and these pointy square things in between. There's a chapter ring at the edge, as well as this handset, which is whatever it is. Maybe it's a pokeball, maybe it's a hamburger, hot dog, not hot dog, I don't know. Whatever it is, some people like it, some don't. Just like Mercedes hands and just like snowflakes. Now, where things start to differ here is with the dial texture. Almost every other 88 has this very unique wavy engraved pattern in the dial. Whereas this thing has what they call a fire pattern, which is more of a subtle matte texture in green. That slowly goes to black as you get to the outer edge. Between the two, it's a very small change. And I think it actually works better with the bronze case. And that's even beyond the green and gold color scheme that seems to become default for bronze. But here, it works because it's just more subtle. It's toned down and much less reflective than the dial that's on the 904, just like the case. And here on the bronze one, I think once it develops a good patina, it'll be a perfect fit. And it's good to see that even though the design and the components have changed, the same level of quality and care was put into this one as the others. Everything here looks great, even under macro, with clear and distinct divisions as well as a clear contrast between the rose gold, the off-whitish loom, and textured dial. And once again, I do realize that it's a bit ironic or funny to be referring to a bronze watch as subtle, but it's all in comparison. It's all relative. As the standard higher polished 904 versions have a lot of flash. If you like dressy divers, look at those. And this offers an interesting option for those that like the design or have heard how good Wise's watches are, but want something a little more low-key. Although, since this is bronze, it's not completely low-key. And especially at night. Because this thing's got loom. Wise uses different loom over the entire 88 series, just depending on the colorway. For example, with this coffee-colored 88 I have, it is BGW9 on the dial and old radium on the bezel. Whereas with the bronze one, interestingly, it has old radium everywhere. Except, this is not the same old radium that we've grown used to getting disappointed by, that we've seen time and time again fail. This is something different. It's less yellow in the daylight, and it actually glows blue instead of green. It's listed as an X1 grade light old radium. And as you can see in this longevity test, it's got some strength. If you want to compare it to old, regular old radium, that's what's on the bezel of the Steel 88. And as you can see, it easily blows that away, and also easily outpaces a Seiko Diver, going on to mostly keep up with the older 88, which is actually one of my kings of loom, one of the best watches I've ever seen. So loom here with the bronze version will not disappoint. Now, as for value, in general, I think Wise is quite reasonable, especially as there's a premium quality and feel to all their watches one that tends to punch above the price point. And in the past, the major weak point in the whole value argument was that they lacked a bracelet for all their 904 watches. There just wasn't one available. But this is something that is changing, as I've noticed they now have listed a few new bracelet versions that are coming soon. But the point is, even with that, that the value argument here for the bronze one is not quite as good as a steel. And perhaps it's because this is a limited run and that they mentioned it'll be the last time this is done in bronze. But right now it's actually sold for 689 US, while the regular 88 with a strap is around 600. And maybe it's just me that I'm wrong here, but I always expected 904 to be more expensive than bronze. 
And the debate on whether 904 is actually better than regular 316 is a whole other discussion. One that could go on for a while. But the point here is that it's usually more expensive. And more to the point is that those new 904L bracelet versions are on pre-sale right now for 630. So as much as I like this bronze version, if I was actually looking at getting a diver from Wise, I think the choice is pretty clear. A full bracelet for less, and that kind of leaves this bronze one out in the cold. Other than that, bottom line is a great diver, with fantastic loom and a level of finish above what you'd expect. And even though I didn't show it here, the wooden box it comes in is amazing. For me, I think the steel versions will be the obvious choice. But even with that, I gotta say there's something really cool and special about this bronze one. Not only from it acquiring that special patina, but I think the changes to the dial and the case give it a slightly different feel. Even with all that gold coloring, it's not quite as flashy as the others. It's a little subtle, and perhaps a better choice for someone who wants a more overall refined look. But as usual, let me know what you think down below about the watch, and if you can think of another watch that does it better. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, rewind, something. It really helps the channel. But I'm Shane, this is Relative Time, and I'll see you next time.